before Jason, before Freddy, before Pennywise, before Candyman, before Chucky, there was Michael Myers. I don't know about y'all, but as a child, Michael Myers was my superhero. He was my super villain. He was my Batman. He was my Joker. He was my Ninja Turtles. He was my childhood. Let's get into this figure. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the box. Now, he's not in the box because I took him out. Wasn't going to wait on making a video to uh, not take him out. I was looking forward to this. Um, probably more than the H2 Michael, just because it's cloth. Um, I don't have the Mezco Michael. I would love to get it, just because it's... It looks amazing, but it's just it's going for brick prices on eBay. So uh, this is probably the closest I'll get to that. And hopefully NECA will release a H2 cloth figure. That would be awesome. And yeah, so there's the box. And here is the figure. Now, it's kind of hard to stand up. I don't know if it's just mine that's hard to stand up. It's not loose or anything. But, uh, and it doesn't have any, uh, any holes in the bottom of his feet, so you can peg him into a stand, but he'll stand perfectly on this thing. He won't stand on this or on my counter, but he'll stand on this thing. I don't know what the hell the deal is with that, but there's the figure in all its glory. And, uh, of course, behind him you see the other two NECA Halloween Ultimate figures with, uh, Laurie Strode in the back. Um... Yeah, let's do a comparison real quick. They're about the same size. Uh, this is a little bigger. A little more beefier in the head, if I can say that, without sounding ridiculous. Um, if, if I had to uh, gripe about one thing on this, it would be just the size of the head. Uh, but I guess it it makes sense because the jumpsuit's a little baggy, so it, it had to uh, you know outweigh that. But it's an awesome figure. I love this thing. Yeah, I've been wanting a Michael in cloth and uh, a cloth jumpsuit since I was a kid. So um, yeah, but let's take a look at his face real quick. You can see it pretty decent um, it is actually a better head scan than this one and here is the other head that came with the ultimate that's probably the closest but yeah completely different paint detail on, on the mask itself but um, yeah awesome figure a lot of detail in the face and oh I think he's gonna stand now maybe maybe not all right screw it we'll just get to the knife the knife has blood on it which the other ones don't um, so this is a good accessory it's a good switch up from the ultimate to separate that from this one but yeah there's a knife and it only came with two accessories, which I'm not complaining, because, you know, the figure itself is amazing. Oh, it stood. It also came with a bloody hammer, and it's very similar to the one we got in the uh, Ultimate Michael figure uh, from NECA. And, um, yeah, probably won't be displaying them with that, but definitely be displaying them with this knife. Let's see what he looks like next to Lori Strode. And there he is next to Lori Strode. See, he's just huge. He's big. Hopefully we get, um, I think it would be really cool if we got a cloth figure of Lori Strode. Um, that would be amazing. I can't wait for the three pack of Halloween three, with the kids and the masks. Um, I'm going to display them with him, it, uh, only if they don't decide to make a uh, H2 Michael in this 
form. But yeah, so there is Michael in all his glory. And uh, there's Lori in all her glory. <laughs> Let me see if we can get a better, better shot of these two scale wise. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but I'm incredibly OCD about certain things, and this is one of them, just the scale, but I mean, it's not too bad. He's supposed to be bigger than her anyway, but yeah, coolness. I do want to point out that it came with this, and I think it's just to keep the, uh, I don't even know. I don't know why they put this in here, because it's not, I don't know, unless it's to keep the fabric from moths or some something, I don't know, but either way, appreciate it, there's a reason it's in there, and they know that reason and I don't, so there's a Michael Ultimate, and the new one, and then the OG H2 Michael in the background. By the way, this this uh, diorama piece right here is a um, what is it? It's a pop up. What is it? Extreme sets pop up something. Same people who made the um, uh, crowd pop up thing for the WWE arenas, um, which I have right over there. But this is amazing. And the doors open, you can punch out the windows, you can put them back in there. It's really cool for like a display. And uh, yeah, this is one of the one of the um, the sets I'll be doing my my movie on. My I don't know if it's gonna be stop motion yet. It might just be pig fed because I rarely have the time to do a video, let alone stop motion. So I might just take a bunch of pictures and uh, create a story out of them but yeah so this is the Michael Myers from the retro cloth Halloween figure and it's by NECA and this thing is going for crack prices on eBay so don't pay that if you have to just wait and um, or you can go to Big Bad Toy Store and order from there or Toy Wiz also has it on there and GameStop and they're a lot cheaper than eBay, so don't don't pl don't play, don't pay scalper prices for this thing, because it's not worth it. I mean, if you just have a little patience and wait it out, you'll be able to get this for decent price. But um, yeah, so this is the Halloween Michael Myers from NECA Retro Cloth. There is a better view at his head. And his mask, the blackest eyes. Yeah, you can't see his eyeballs really. I mean, they're in there. You just can't see them through the video, through the camera. But, yeah. Good deal, you guys. The video will be up tomorrow. Um, if you want to see a UFC figure haul video, click like. Or comment below if you want to see a regular figure haul video because I have two different ones that I want to do um, then comment or click like below so uh, yeah we're out like a light we'll see y'all later Peace.